Hello again everyone, it's Cal from Milton Hyundai and I just wanted to introduce you to the brand new 2013 Hyundai Veloster Turbo, the car we've been all been waiting for. It has, as you can see, some characteristics I'm going to go through with you in this video. First of all, you can see the different styled front grille. It's a much wider opening. It gives it better characteristics for, for cooling, uh, for performance, and fuel economy as well. Uh, it also has the front projector headlights as opposed to the regular headlights on the Veloster and the LED uh, daytime running lights that it has. It's really cool and you have to see this car for sure. From this side here, you can see the differences as well start to show here even more so. This car has the 18 inch alloy wheels as standard. It doesn't have the color inserts, but it has chrome inserts. And also has bigger front disc brakes as opposed to the regular Veloster. It's 20 millimeters bigger for a better braking performance. Also has a very tight steering rack, so it has a heavier steering for again more precise handling. And you can also see the ground effects here. So you can see this lay side screen that has uh, gives it a lower, um, uh, lets the air flow underneath it much cleaner. It also has a very different switch, which we'll look at in a second. Now I really like the, the work they did with this car at the back here. You can see the sporter is much bigger than the regular Veloster, and it's the same color as the body as opposed to being just black. Um, you can see it has a matte fat, it's a flat matte uh, finish for the diffuser, and you can see actually they have the fence for the rear diffuser for like, a better performance and larger to, uh, dual exhaust outlets as well. Gives it that proper look for a performance car, LED tail lights, round reflectors, and also has the backup sensors. So inside the car right now, we have again pretty much the same controls as the regular Veloster, but um, some of the things that I really like about the car that I really wanted to show you here. So obviously you get your Bluetooth controls as standard, uh, audio controls and cruise control right here. Uh, very clear instrumentation. They, they adopted this idea of having these um, tube-like um, gauge clusters, I suppose, uh, to have that same look as a motorbike exhaust tip. So it has that very sporty design to it. Um, also, you can see there's a matte uh, gray finish here. Uh, on the steering wheel and on the center console, uh, which takes us to the entertainment system. So what we have here is a 7 inch touch screen. This is where you can see your uh, navigation controls, the backup camera will show here, it's your audio entertainment system, and this is what I really like about this, it has an 8 speaker sound system with a 10 inch subwoofer. Um, you can. This is what I like, is once you put uh, any songs that you like or or music, you can change the setting of how do you like the sound to come as a concert effect or a dynamic effect where there's more um, bass into the sound or just a normal where the sound is very clear and crisp and you can change that all obviously and it can also change the the fader and the balance and what I love about it even though you can do this in pretty much every car is you have a more visual um, Effect uh, understanding of where the sound will be concentrating towards to. So as a driver, you can put it exactly where the seat is here for the driver's seat, and then you can put it back to default if you want to just put it back. Um, front heated seats uh, are standard as well, and I love the practicality of having this push foot push button start. Uh, six speed automatic, and it comes also as available in a six speed manual transmission. And as you can see here, you have two 12 volt power outlets with USB and auxiliary inputs as well for your music. But besides these two 12 volts, you also get standard, which I love, is right here in the center armrest. Maybe it's hard to see for you guys, but there's a regular 115 volt plug that you can plug in anything, really, like uh, your laptop charger or uh, or anything with a regular plug. You don't have to use the 12, 12 volt there. And there's a special button on the side next to the driver here that will enable that uh, for if you're driving on long distances, you can always have a regular plug for, for charging something up or using something. So that's basically the, the, the benefits and the features are inside the car. Uh, they are fantastic. You are going to love this car once you see it. Once you drive it, it's going to give you a, a whole different perspective of a practical, sporty, um, hot hatch, let's say. Um, like the, It competes right against the Golf GTI and the Mini Cooper, and it beats them in every single segment when it comes to performance, space, price, features, you name it, and it has it. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you soon.